You know the secret, right? I told you the secret that we have one for them and they don't know yet. What college football is like during a pandemic. Not anybody can just get in here. Look at all those faces. Okay, do you see this hat? This is BYU, this is my favorite football team. And they've been playing football for three or four weeks now, but the problem is they don't allow fans to go in there. We have season tickets, we go every single year. But they decided to do something really, really unique. If you pay $50, you take a picture of yourself. I took one, this is the picture, it's really bad. I like haven't shaved, it looks really bad, but I hurried and did it. They will make a cardboard cutout of yourself and put it in the stands because there's no fans there. That's a really cool way for them to raise money since there are people buying tickets this year and also a way for fans to feel connected when they can't actually go to the games. I love the idea, but I love it so much that I bought one for me, Lincoln, Lincoln's friend Boston, and one of my best friends, Jeff, who we have season tickets together. But the thing is, I'm the only one that knows that I bought those four. We are going up to BYU right now. They have a game tonight. We are going to go in. We're gonna find our cutouts. We're gonna surprise the boys and have them look for their cutouts where we're gonna find them at some point. I'm not sure what the surprise is gonna look like. And we're gonna see what it's like to see all of these cutout heads. Cause I think it's a very cool thing that teams are doing across the country during this COVID time. Let's go get on the road. We've got a four hour drive. We've got to get there before the game cause we're not allowed to be there during the game. This is gonna be a good surprise. Off we go. We made it. Hello. This is so weird. I just have to tell you. In my entire life, well, my entire life that I can remember since I was like seven years old, I've only missed two BYU football seasons. And it was when I lived in the Philippines and I was a missionary for my church. That's it. Every other year I go to at least one game at home or away. And so to be here in October, it's game night. The game is in a few hours. Like typically this place would be a zoo over here and there'd be a ton of people that are getting ready for the players to pull up in their buses. They go in, you've got the marching bands. Well, it's different. So I'm gonna show you what it's like. It's kind of fun to document what college football is like during a pandemic because hopefully in my lifetime, we'll never see anything like this again. And this is just a one-off year, but um, we're here. There it is. I hear the fans cheering. I think they have fake fan noises going through there for some reason. I don't, I'm wearing a jersey. Oh boy. <laughs> Boss is laughing like, who is this guy? You yeah, really? I'm gonna throw a jersey on. I mean, is it, or do you like this better? Do you want a signed Ty Detmer jersey on when I go in there, or do you want just this? Boston? I think you look great either way. Oh, Lincoln? Wear the jersey. Yes, yes, that's what I wanna hear. JK said no. Right now, he's like, my dad is such a dork. I am a dork. But Lincoln's wearing dorky shoes, so it's fair game. Check out these shoes. <laughs> just kidding. In order to get in here, not anybody can just get in here. We did work with the BYU marketing team. They ran it through a bunch of layers of approval. We went and had got an app and filled out all of our symptoms and we're gonna show to verify that. And once we get inside of there, actually I think right now, hey, we need masks. we're supposed to be wearing our masks. So, do you got your mask? Uh, Why don't you have a mask? I'm gonna grab one. Yeah, so I thought I was telling you about the mask, but really I guess I was just telling Lincoln he's non-compliant here. But this also serves a dual purpose because at Brigham Young University, beards are not allowed. This kind of blocks it because I haven't shaved in a week. You gotta put over your nose and mouth, buddy. That's walking. not how the are walking outside. Jeff is here. Jeff, I thought you'd be wearing a suit. No. Okay, so this is our crew today. We have Lincoln. We have Jeff, one of my best friends forever. We have BFFs. We have season tickets together. So he likes to see the stadium. So he's here to see the stadium. This is Boston Tiger Woods Bracken. Yes. And this is Paul Bryson DeChambeau Bracken, right here. <laughs> right, does that work? Okay, so let's go. They're waiting for us, I think, in here. Oh, there's cars coming. Go, Lincoln. <laughs> this is our special badge. Yeah. Lincoln's putting it on. Yep. Lincoln, why are you wearing a golf hat to a football game? You're kind of weird. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Right there is the visitor's locker room right there. And I would imagine that some of the team, the visiting team is in there right now prepping for the game. It's usually loud right here. It's usually intense. This is where the visiting players go down the portal. Right here. Oh baby. Look at this. There's our seats. This is it. These are our seats right on top of this. For front row, that's our seats. Yep. This is so weird to be here in October. And we're not sitting in those seats for any games. Look at all those faces. Cardboard cutouts. And then look, I think that's players from the other team. I don't even remember who they're playing tonight. Check this out. There's the uh, pylons right there. No cameras inside of them. 
don't touch them because they're not supposed to be touched. They were planning on having, nice camera, they were planning on having fans here at the stadium. And then the week before the first home game, when all the students came back from school, there was an outbreak in Utah County. So the governor, who the governor is a season ticket holder, he's a BYU fan, he um, forced it to be shut down. So it's all shut down for the next, for this is a second game and hopefully the third one, it'll be reopened. But for now, um, they're not gonna have any fans here tonight. So it's pretty special that we're able to come, but it also, we're not gonna be here for the game tonight. We're gonna leave afterward. We're here, I wanna see these cardboard cutouts. And uh, you know the secret, right? I told you the secret that we have one for them and they don't know yet. So this is gonna be good. Hey Jeff. Yeah. When's the last time that you've, uh, when's the last season that you missed a game? Check one, two. Oh Check man. Check one, two. And but you didn't know, intend to see one in person. I don't know, man. It's, it have to be like back on the mission. Yeah, that's maybe. what I was saying. Like the 2001. 2000. 2000. Yeah, you're 2000. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is what you do during a pandemic. You put faces of people out here. Where are we? There we go. <laughs> okay, boys, come on up. Some pretty good faces out here. Yes. Ty Detmer. Taysom Hill. Check out these ones right here. Look at these ones. Wow. Those are some good looking photos. Oh, you didn't tell me I was gonna be in it too. That's great. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, look at this guy. We have our faces. Where was this picture from? Australia. Melbourne, Australia. Love you, yeah. You got all your medals. And this one is really tricky for Boston because he had a high school logo. It said crimson on the hat and crimson on the shirt. And so I had to Photoshop out crimson and put a BYU logo on here. And then Jeff, let's look at yours. Yeah, this was from the uh, University of Utah game in uh, 2017. Yes. And uh, so we'll just get rid of some of that bad mojo here tonight. We were on the field, You're down which the field. is interesting because that badge had a University of Utah logo on it and I actually had your brother edit it out so there's no U of U logo on there. <laughs> this was like two days ago and I looked terrible, but I hurried and took a picture just so I had one of me. Yes. There we go. We have pictures. That's we will amazing. be at the game in spirit tonight. You will not miss a game this year. <laughs> we will not miss a game. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you look behind me, there's all kinds of fan faces that are all right here. These are BYU fans. And the interesting thing is too, some of them are BYU greats that played football here. We've got Jimmer Ferdet, we have Taysom Hill, Jamal Williams, Luke Staley, Ty Detmer is right there. He's the guy I'm wearing the jersey of right now. Andy Reid from the Chiefs, he is here. Ezekiel Ansa. Where's Kyle Van Noy? Marie Osmond, Carl Malone is here. The mailman is up there. Zach Blair, golfer from our hometown, St. George. He's right up there. Danny Ainge. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got all of these people but then mixed in are a bunch of fans. There's some really unique stories with a lot of these people in this. For example, one of them is from a family that has a 12 year old. There's a 12 year old boy that's here. And unfortunately he passed away from cancer a few months ago. Huge BYU fan. I think that's a really special thing and a nice way to do something different in a pandemic. It's only $50 too. $50. It, that's great. It's interesting because right now these football teams, I mean, they have, they have plenty of money, but they do rely on, on the ticket sales in order for the season to be successful. BYU is not part of some big conference. So the only money they make is from their own TV contracts and from their own things. And so without having season tickets, that does cut into their revenue. So this is a nice way. Yes, it's $50 to have your head here and it'll be here through the whole season. I for think the whole season? For the whole season, they'll have it here. What? It's also a nice fundraiser for the program so that they can have extra money so they continue to schedule teams play games, travel to these places. It's not cheap to run a football program. Mitch Matthews, I mean, look at him. He is pumped right now. Jamal Williams is like in the zone right now. Mike Weir, wearing his master's jacket. He's the only one in the stands that's won the masters, but he's not the only one in the stands that will win the masters. <laughs> You've got Mike Weir over here with his jacket and Zach Blair's like, I want one of those so bad. I'm so jealous right now. What's up, Mitt? This is, uh, this one's Boney Fuller. <laughs> this one right here, only true BYU fans will know that yes. are on Twitter. It's a, it's an account that we don't really know who runs it. It seems like it's a few people and the week of the games when they play against somebody, they do some of the funniest pictures and videos that sometimes are almost borderline a little mean, but it's all done in good spirit. And then uh, some of the other teams push back. This team that they're playing today, 
Louisiana Tech, I think is who it is. They um, they pushed back pretty hard and it was awesome. They had some really good responses. So yeah, Boney Fuller's here and I think he's actually in here twice, which is cool. I had an idea. I'm not super pumped to have, like I know we're in the stadium, which is cool, but I want to be in my seats for the game. What if we take ours and we just like, Take it over and put it in our seats in the north end zone. Are we allowed to do that? We have this badge. I feel like we could do whatever the heck we want. I think yeah. it says that here. What's whatever inside? You whatever you want to our actual seats. I like this guy with the hat on. I got yours. Yes. You got them? Don't break them. We need this and those. We might be losing our chance to have our actual cardboard cutouts on TV tonight by moving them. I did talk to the marketing team and they said, if you want to put it on your seats, we'll do it for this game. Tonight, if you're watching the game, it's probably over, it's over by now. You can go back and watch BYU versus Louisiana Tech. This photographer is with Reuters, like Reuters that does all the news articles and everything. He asked if Boston could hold up his actual face and he's gonna hold it up and he's gonna get a picture in front of it. You are gonna be in the national news, potentially. Boss is totally gonna be in the newspaper. Look at these fancy cameras. I had to see her at least once. <laughs> well, we need to get up there. We gotta go up there. Yeah, okay, let's go up there. Okay. Here it is. These are our seats, oh, baby. The breeze just hit him. Oh no. It's gotta be a little breeze. Oh no, the breeze. All right, we're making a decision. These are our actual seats, but it's hard to see them and they keep wanting to fall down. So we're gonna put them there against it and hopefully the wind doesn't blow them over. ESPN2, if you're watching this, make sure you show the north end zone during the game. Yes. Even though this video came out after the game. Now you can't see all the medals. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> This is David Almodova. He is the head of BYU Marketing, right? So there's a lot of faces out there. Are there any interesting ones, like stories of people and families? Yeah, there's actually a really cool story of a lady who passed away with cancer this past year. Uh, she had had her family, she bought 20 season tickets every year for a long time. And so a few different people submitted her uh, cardboard cutout photo. So we have her up there. So yeah, there's a lot of great people. There's the What's Inside guys. <laughs> the What's Inside guys. They're in there too. There's this, yeah, so. somehow. <laughs> Somehow they're up there. So here's the question. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna watch this video and go, oh, I wish I would have done that. Can they still buy their own seat? Absolutely. They can still purchase a cardboard cutout. Uh, we'll get them up next week for the game and then we'll keep them up for the rest of the season. Our plan is then to share them or to get them to the people after the season's done. Yes! That looks amazing. That looks amazing. I can now say I didn't miss a football game. We came here today and uh, thanks to all you for letting me come here and see this. That was awesome. David with bags. Are those for us? That's for you. Goodies. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. You totally loaded us up. I see a flag, a hat. Oh my. David just literally robbed the BYU fan store and loaded up with bags for us. Hey, thank you so much. That is awesome. David's the best. All right, good luck tonight at the game. Go Cougs. To turn around. Those girls just said, I like your shoes, Lincoln. John Stockton does not look happy to be here. Carl does. Carl wants to be here. Yeah, Carl likes it. Just stay there. They will think you're a cardboard cutout. Yes. Just don't move the entire <laughs> game. I would sit here for three hours and not move. Three? The game's like six hours. That's how it is every time. This dog made it. And this dog has some human arms. See, I see them. Is that like Uncle Rico? It kind of looks like him, but it also kind of doesn't. Nice camera. Beards are not allowed. I have a dork. 